Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Or welcome to the channel if you are new. Um, hopefully there is some new people out there because I can't believe it. We have hit five, well we've hit past. I think I'm on, when I last checked it was about 520 subscribers. So I'm absolutely over the moon and I want to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody who has subscribed, liked, commented, um, like posted absolutely lovely comments and they honestly make my day. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, seen this video <coughs> sort of appearing from a few of the other channels that I follow and I was, and I thought, hmm, I wonder what mine would be. And it is my top 10 books of 2021 now i think i have picked all books that were published and released in 2021 if i haven't i do apologize but 2021 for me was um the year that i absolutely fell in love with colouring like I started just before Christmas and carried on and I've not stopped and I I just absolutely love it love being part of the colouring community I have met some amazing people um and made some really really lovely friends so it's all it's been amazing um the whole sort of process of it so I'm going to start off with what is possibly my apps no i'm not going to save that till the end i'm going to save my favorite one of the year to the end these are in no particular order really i've just sort of grabbed off the shelf looking at what i absolutely love um and the first one i'm going to start off with is i'm just going to zoom out a little is hannah lynn's latest book it is whimsy girls around the world um first seen a picture of this this picture in particular on um hannah posted it and it was on it was a, an image from a kickstarter campaign and i thought oh my god i absolutely love that already like i was obsessed with her so when this book came out i had to get it i absolutely love it spoiler you'll see this in my completed pages video but i've done this one and this is all done in black widows and then the background is alcohol marker and there's some um secure a jelly roll metallic at the top so i've done her oh she's got she's got some jelly jelly glaze eyes as well i absolutely love her and then I've, i need to fix this one because i do love this page her skin went a little bit wrong so i do need to work on fixing it but i might try and fix that this month but this book i just absolutely adore these girls she's beautiful she looks like rihanna they're just cute I have done a full flip through this, so I'm not going to do another one. Lara Croft, definitely. Look at that ponytail. Meredith and Brave. But yeah, I absolutely love it. So if you are a Hannah Lynn Girls fan, then I definitely, definitely love her. Recommend Whimsy Girls Around the World. A beautiful little colouring book. Um, I'll put it on the floor. I'm just going to have a drink on third and on second. Okay. Next, I'm going to go for... And I'm just going to throw a disclaimer out there. I've picked these as my top books of the year. Quite a few haven't been coloured in because I've just not got round to them, but it doesn't mean that I still don't absolutely love them. And this one, I absolutely love. And I'll be honest, Millie has a sp little special place in my heart because the first colouring book that I got was Millie Morata's Beautiful Creatures. Um, Like a compilation. And then when I seen that she's bringing a new one out and it was C, I had to get it. I've got a page marked that I'll... It was this seahorse. I've not got around to colouring it, but actually, I might do it. 
see if I can get it in this month. But I love anything to do with like wildlife, anything to do with the sea. I love these images. It's like a more complicated version of this. That could be quite interesting. But I do look, I love this. <clears throat> it's just a really lovely book. Um, I love how she makes the animals out of leaves. So, I do love it. So that's in my top 10. Millie Rotter's Secrets of the Sea. Love. Um, we'll go for another one that's not been coloured in yet. So I got this in October. And it is... Dark Art by Francois Gautier. Gautier. Um, I love anything like this. Anything witchy, anything spooky, anything a little bit creepy. Um, I have, I think I have done a flip through this, I can't remember. But like this, I love it. Aliens, sci-fi, ray guns. His legs cut off, slightly like macabre. I love it. So I'm thinking like I'll call Marcus for a lot of basing on this. And then she pencil shading, love her. But I read like such good, such big ambitious plans for October. If you see my colouring plans for October video, I was like, I'm going to colour this, I'm going to colour that, I'm going to colour this. It's all going to be Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. And then I'm not going to lie, life got completely in the way. And I think it's about four pages. So... It's just one of them, isn't it? It is what it is. It's a hobby at the end of the day. We fit it in where we can. But I love these pages. Kind of just combines everything that I love. But again, I've not coloured a page. This I I I love this everything about it so intricate though it's the only thing that i'm not does slightly put me off but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do a page I had him march my first page so we might try and get around so that's sort of sharpish oh might do a twist on how on valentine's day got a heart there Ooh. I love anything like Egyptian God or like Greek God or Viking God. So that's a possibility. But yeah. So that's Dark Art by Francois Gautier. I apologise for saying that completely wrong. <clears throat> I'm just like, ah, I'm tired today. So I'm possibly at the delirium stage. Um... Next up is uh, quite a recent one. It's Mythographic Wonderlust. Now, I have Mythographic Odyssey. I think that's it. Yeah, I've got Odyssey in this one. Um, and I'm, my plan is to colour through Odyssey in order, so I won't be colouring this in order. I haven't coloured anything in this yet. I've also still only coloured one page in Odyssey, so... Um, yeah, I love it. I do want the aquatic one, but we'll see. But this is beautiful. There's some absolutely stunning pages in this. I was just sat flicking through it the other day and I was like, I love this. Have a thing about animals. Like, I absolutely love going to the zoo. Like, we spend all day at the zoo. It's like that, a little happy place. Like, it just fills me with joy. So, like, the like lemurs are one of my absolute favourite animals so I was flicking through the other day and I was like how have I not seen that it's a lemur page and why have I not coloured it because it's beautiful love a tiger very Harry, po Harry Potter-ish I absolutely love Harry Potter I mean I'm not mad over snails but this is cute who doesn't love a koala
I'm sure there's another one that I thought I really want to do. I love anything like tiki, so this page to me is like screaming to be done. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I have a cat and I absolutely adore him. I just couldn't remember. I love giraffes. I'm just looking because I can't remember if there's a red panda page. I love Day of the Dead. So they, everything in this book is just like, yeah, I knew there was a red panda. So like Day of the Dead I'm obsessed with. Red pandas I'm obsessed with. Like this book is actually so me. And I'm like, why have I not coloured anything in it yet? So when I go down, I've just bought myself a colouring companion for february's pages i am going to put this in and if i get to it before february even better but it's just st stunning i mean that gorgeous so that is wonderlust mythographic color and discover and i am actually doing what is on the cover so i, I am coloring all the hidden objects in gold gel pen the there let's just make them a feature I can't bother trying to hide them. And I think if I do it, so I'm just drinking again. <laughs> um, I think if I do them that way, then it looks like they're meant to be there, doesn't it? I am going to go to next. This one. <clears throat> Gorgeous book. I got this in February. I think it came out in February. It's February or March. Um... I've got a couple of pages through this. I absolutely love it. As soon as... I saw it posted on, I think it was Lawmark Books. I just knew I had to have it. So I did have every intention of doing this. I might come back to it and do it. It's a massive, massive um, nameplate page. Name. What possessed me to do it in blue? I don't know. Um, this was the first page that I coloured in it. There's some white gel pen, there's some glitter gel pen, there's some metallic pens on there, some metallic pencils on there. Um, it's all sorts on there. I have got a couple of pages in it, <laughs> actually coloured in this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. This was for a monochrome challenge, so I went pink and jellyfish. Um, so it's all done in pinks there's some gel pens on there the background is um what is that what ah it's eco line watercolor brush pen um this one i love this one this was for debbie from call me stress free is um like community color and then this one i'm gonna to have to show you in the camera da, 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 da. can you see that sparkle and the frostier and the snowflakes the icicles and the metallic shine on the mountains and the igloo i just went fully winter on this page winter is coming um quite a limited color palette it's very muted compared to that isn't it but i love it I love, I love trying to create like a feeling like that's cold, a super tropically vi vibrant. I don't know what I was trying to create there. And I tried to create the seasons, whether I've done it or not. I still love it. So this book definitely will definitely be getting coloured some more. In. And I keep seeing things on instagram and i'm like wow like i've never seen that page before i'm just trying to find one you know when you haven't realized i seen one the other day and i thought i really really want to color that page um what was it i love this oh it was a, i really can't remember it was a circular one I love these. 
But you know, when it's just you've not noticed something, I think sometimes when you're looking in your book, you're looking for something in particular, right? You're something to jump out and you kind of miss what's there. Um, but I'd seen somebody colour something in and it was absolutely stunning. But for the life of me now, I think it, this was one. It was beautiful. Can't remember who it was. I love this. Oh, I can't remember now, guys. It might come to me. I'm not going to go through the whole book. No, I nearly did. But yeah, it's a circle of life by Mel Pamini Chat the Paddy too. Stunning book, Circle of Life. Um <clears throat> next I'm going to go to probably somebody who I have absolutely loved looking at their work for uh, for years. So I used to work in um, a bookshop of in in the UK called W H Smiths while I while I got myself through uni, um, and I always used to see Kirby's books on a shelf, and I was like, I didn't colour them. I didn't really think it was for me, um, but loved all, all of his like mafia books. Which I have, I have them all now, I think. Um, but then this one came out last year. And again, it's Natural World. Um, and it's just right up my street again. I've coloured one page. So I know I sound like, it's. oh yeah, it must be your favourite book. But Obsessed. Um, and I feel much more confident in tackling these pages now. So like, I would do this in ink tents. And it doesn't scare me at all. But this, this is the page that I've done in it. Um, I think I've used on the bat and the berries, polychromos. And then I had some ink tanked blocks just like knocking around from a, a previous scrawler box. And I, I attempted to use them. I had no clue what I was doing. But it made a scruffy background. So, <laughs> but I love it. Beautiful. I love the um I love this illustration. I love that it was turned into like a like an ornament, like a statue thing. And again, lemurs, I just love them. So I might add some of these books to my February pages actually, because now I'm like, oh, I really want to colour in them. Um so that was Fragile World Natural Colour Natural Wonders by Kirby Rodanes. Um so this is fairly a new one. Mandarin by Maria Troll. I'm sorry if I've said that wrong. Don't know if it's troll eh? Um I haven't coloured in it, I'll be honest. But I love it. It was actually Luna that Luna got me into her books. Um and then when I seen that this was coming out, I was like, oh my god, yes. And have two copies of Luna now because I got I have the Dutch version and then I got bought the English version for Christmas. Love this one. So I'm really happy about that. But it is a beautiful book. I've not coloured anything in it, I've just not had time. But I was feeling a bit like meh before Christmas sort of colouring wise. Not that I hadn't I've not gone off it. Um so Mandalin makes my top ten. But I just was like you know when you're working on a page and you're just struggling to complete it it was kind of at that stage and then I don't know why I just woke up on New Year's Day and was like I just had such an urge to colour and I've just been I've just kind of like loving it again I've got three left so we'll go in reverse order of fear well it's not really because they're all as good as each other <clears throat> Rita Berman, obsessed. I will have all of her books probably by the end of this year. Um, I think I've done one page in this and I'm working on one at the minute. I just wanted to have a little experiment. So I did this little lamp post in some ink tents. Um, I did some distress ink and I just had a play really. 
on it but then i am working on this one for a hashtag on instagram and i'm using castle arts because i love them i love how they work in this book and the paper so but this is a stunning stunning book and i've got a page planned for buddy color with sam for february and we're doing a london page and i picked this but sam i'm sorry but i think i might be feeling this if you're watching it i'm going to message you about this i feel like i might need to swap um just cute love it i love a reef but yeah so this is a beautiful book i love rita's illustrations it's so whimsical they're just lovely to color that's stunning love that but yeah as soon as i seen this book i was like oh my god that is me i love it a bit of me that but again it's just one of them I've just got one page done i'm not bothered i'm in no rush to complete any books i'll sort of get there when i get there this is up there guys i'm not gonna lie as like one of the books of the year i am obsessed with it um you've just seen a hannah cars and flip free video so i'm not going to go through it but this book is just stunning just absolutely stunning i love it Love, love, love. I just love colouring Hannah's pages. As I was scared that I couldn't do them justice, but I, I don't feel intimidated by that now. I feel like, well, it is what it's my interpretation, so it looks how I want it to look, really, isn't it? But just a beautiful, beautiful book. So that is Tales from the Witch's Cottage. And finally, I've said it more than once. My absolute favourite book of 2021 has to be the stunning Tales from the Forest Kingdom. I am utterly obsessed with this book. I love the whole idea of it. I love colouring the pages. I love the paper. It's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful book. Like, I just absolutely love colouring it. Genuinely brings me so much joy. So there we go. I'm not going to keep you for absolutely hours because who wants to listen to me droning on about what books I've loved this year? But they are my top 10 books of 2021. I hope I've picked books that have all come out in 2021. I think I have. Because I have, I did pre-order quite a lot of them, so I must have. Um, oh, that was a bit loud. But thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a little comment. What's your favourite book of 2021? Um, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.